weather is brought to you by your local New England Ford dealers. Drive one. Checking the forecast now with our Nelly Carreño, and today we'll be clear of the muggies before the really hot weather comes our way, right? <laughs> the muggies, is that what yeah. we call it? Yeah, I like that. <laughs> yes, and, you know, not as humid as it will be, but you just mentioned Debbie, and here we can actually track Debbie. You see how it's now moving through the panhandle of Florida. In some places, it dumped more than 28 inches of rain. The good news is finally gaining some forward speed and heading out to sea towards the northeast. However, it's not a threat to us. It will stay far away from us towards our southeast, and that's due to a frontal boundary that will push it away from us in the next few days. But that same boundary, along with the low-pressure system, just refuses to leave us for now. The low now is tracking into Maine, and then we'll go into central areas of Maine, eventually northern Maine, later on this afternoon into the evening hours and start to move away tonight into tomorrow. But until then, across northern New England, you are dealing with a lot of cloud cover and scattered showers. A few of those light scattered showers. Uh, moving into the Boston area, you see it right here. Those should continue to dwindle down during the rest of the morning. And for the most part, across southern New England, we will have a dry afternoon, rather pleasant, more sunshine across Connecticut and central and western areas, but still drier than it has been the last couple of days. You do notice, though, how that low continues to grab a lot of moisture from the Atlantic, pull it all the way around southeastern Canada and towards us. But because it's moving a little further to the north, it's not affecting southern New England, Boston, the Cape as much as it has the last couple of days. So here's our low. As I mentioned, it will start to trek away in the next uh, 24 hours and finally leave us alone. But for the highs today in the 70s, closer to average, 78 to 79 for the high across most of southern New England, 60s across the north. You won't get as much sunshine as we will across southern New England, and that's why you'll stay in the 60s for the most part. 75 in Boston, 77 in Brockton, 76 in Framingham spots where you get a little more sunshine, you will start to heat up. For example, Hartford 80 will be your high today and close to 80 across Chicopee Falls, most of Berkshire County also in uh, western Massachusetts and 60s as I mentioned across the north. Taking it hour by hour around noon today, we should have mostly dry conditions, maybe a sprinkle or two, but notice how the clouds just hang on for dear life from Boston down over to the Cape, then Connecticut and really Worcester West, mostly sunny on this Wednesday. Just a beautiful day and scattered showers will remain across the north, but across Maine at least you're not getting those heavy downpours that you've had the last couple of days. Five o'clock today, maybe a couple of showers south of Boston down over to the Cape. That's about it. We're not expecting thunderstorms this afternoon. And then on Thursday, we wake up with sunny skies. A few clouds roll in, but we'll have a dry Thursday, most of us, except for Maine. You'll have a few light showers, but at least we're drying out. Friday, most of the day is dry. A couple of showers are possible, and even an isolated thunderstorm during the afternoon, that's about it. Then the heat comes in, and on Saturday, some of us across southern New England could hit 90 degrees. Notice that warm up, and that is not a dry heat, that is a humid heat on Saturday. Right now, Saturday is the best day out of both days because on Sunday, on the, during the afternoon, we could get a couple of showers and even an isolated thunderstorm.